Well, hello guys, hello, hello. Welcome back to the Big Fat Psychic channel. I'm so pleased to be reading again for you today. And I know I always say it, but it's absolutely true, okay? There's nothing more wit. Oh, when that sun comes up in the morning, I'm like, oh, coffee. You know, uh, read a couple of articles to get questions, you know. Uh, sometimes I already have my questions, but anyway. Uh, uh, and then, yeah, up I come. Up I come uh, to record for you. So, uh, yeah, I love it. And I'm loving the fact that we have got uh, a few more uh, subscribers. I mean, that's awesome. 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 Okay. You'll only see at the end of the videos, I think, maybe... Uh, I don't even think I do say please subscribe. I just say please like, don't I? <gasps> okay. Anyway, uh, so I'm just going to uh, give a shout out to Ashley uh, and uh, Thanksgiving. Okay. Um, video. How sad. How sad is that? For those that you don't know, Danger Zone um, uh, is... Well, I think um, she's been uh, diagnosed and, and treated for, for cancer. Uh, and, well, this woman, I came on the scene last year. So around August, I might have started watching because I, I set up a channel in September thinking, <laughs> I can do this. But anyway, uh, yeah, so and I've been watching her all the way through. So I saw the doggies uh, and the fire. Uh, and, you know, it's just horrendous insight for, for somebody to, to go through all that. I know we're all going through stuff. Uh, certainly you are uh, uh, as well um, and yeah well it's just a, a, a shame so I hope she uh, manages to have a, a happy Thanksgiving it's not always the case you know that somebody's going to survive as well some of you know okay uh, and I think uh, it's scared her you know the thought of uh, her own mortality coming to an end is scared her. And you know what? It would. It would. It would. You're normal. You're normal to be scared. You know, you're, you're normal to be scared. And I just think, oh my God, you know, when you're in that situation, it's all right for me. My, my four children are alive. You know, I ain't lost anything uh, around there. Uh, um, you know, I, I'll be losing my mum's home. Uh, but I've come to terms with that. I've accepted that because, you know, you think, well, she's ill. Uh, who, who wants to live like that? I wouldn't. Uh, you know, not being able to know much, eating mouldy sandwiches and not even realising it. You know, just like not being cared for uh, properly, not being able to do it on your own. And then you're dependent on a, you know, a care agency and the paid pittance, you know. Uh, and, well, they're not able... Some of the training are... <laughs> excuse me some of the training on uh dementia and everything is uh amazing okay amazing so being able to say they have come a, a long way but they haven't come that far in uh curing it whatever's on the table coming up uh will not be in time uh to save my mum okay so um so yeah i mean it's just you know how you reckon with it isn't it i think uh I've done uh, spreads on death and, and where we go and uh, what happens to us. And amazingly, amazingly, scientists are now saying the same thing. Okay, so we're saying that, you know, uh, here is just this body. It's a game that we can't understand. It's like, put, you know, taking out your worst horror movie uh, and putting yourself through it, you know. Uh, but you chose that horror movie, you know, or you want that comedy or you want the romance this time. You know, that's how we kind of have evolved to see this. So to, to hear them talking in 11 dimensions and now 25 dimensions, okay? Uh, and also, you know, this could mean that we are a simulation, okay? We are a simulation. They are looking into it uh, big time with, uh, you know, I, I love I love out like this, okay, guys? So, you know, uh, I, I'm right into it. I love the, uh, you know, unexplained and I love science and how it uh, evolves, you know? Uh, along other days where you know you got the uh, mad scientist but yeah so <clears throat> they're proving what we have been saying for centuries you know that that like somebody's like but they see is that we're in a, a video game you know and somebody's pumping us uh you know we're wanting to to do this uh, and why would we want to do this well apparently because we want to learn you know we want to to learn which I just found, uh, you know, I don't know. 
probably like do you remember the blockbuster chain of uh video shops and you used to go in there and you took about well me <laughs> i've been there an hour uh before i picked up the uh you know took to the till the first video that i uh, picked up oh and i used to love it if you could get three or four uh out at the same time you know on these vhs recorders uh but yeah so it's kind of probably like uh that they only have so many titles, you know, the the most popular ones uh, are out there and got on. Okay, I don't know if you remember that. I mean, the kids won't know what we was on about, will they? They won't know about that. But anyway, so yeah, it's, uh, I think, to reckon with oneself, you have to overcome the fear and trust. Just trust that this is not the end, okay? This is not the end uh, uh, at all. And I think maybe if you can fee feel that, uh, once you stop fearing death, you can actually live. Uh, and that is a, 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 like a true uh, point, actually, you know. Uh, once you stop worrying about it and what's going to happen. I mean, I don't know, kids, uh, when I was a kid, uh, I, I used to uh, worry that my mum would, uh, you know, end up dead. Uh, uh, and that was my worst, uh, worst fear, obviously, until I had my child, like, but, uh, you know. So, yeah, I think... Uh, and when you're worrying about it, you, you're not going to be able to see what is just now. Okay, so, yeah, for those that don't have much of a, a future, uh, the they advice is to, to stay in the moment, isn't it? Stay in, stay in the moment. And if you've got notice, you know, i.e. you've been given a terminal condition, you've got more control in it than you say. You could plan your own funeral. You can write a few jokes to come out. You can leave letters for people over the years, you know, uh, and... Uh, even a, a funny gift voucher or something, you know, you can do uh, stuff uh, ahead of time. Uh, and we all know we're going to pass away, you know, it's just a matter of when. Um, and so, yeah, I think, uh, you know, you can do those things, can't you? And you can talk to your family about, you know, what will happen. I mean, I don't know. I've said to my son, I'll always be around him. I will always be around him. And, uh, you know... Uh, and the others, but mainly, you know, my link will be with him, unfortunately, because he's the strongest energy I've got, okay, uh, and uh, there's a reason why I gave birth to him uh, and not the other three, okay, so uh, in that, we don't know, because it does wind me up sometimes, you know, it's uh, quite critique, uh, takes you to task on anything, and if you see it, he'll say, I said, I was coming down on Tuesday, and I'll say, oh, it's Wednesday, where are you, and I go, I told you, I told you I was working. I told you I couldn't come. I told you I'd let you know. <laughs> and I'm like, we haven't had that conversation. We have not had that conversation. <laughs> okay, so yeah, um, that's uh, the 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 thing with Ashley. So please, uh, you know, send out your love. And uh, Thanksgiving, well, happy happy uh, Thanksgiving, okay? I uh, hope you've got lots of presents. I don't know if Santa comes on Thanksgiving. Is this, you know, like, I don't know. We did this last year. You'll have to let me know uh, what Thanksgiving is uh, to you because uh, I haven't got no idea, really. I think it's like a Christmas, is it? You know, because I know when uh, I sent a Merry Christmas video out, the Americans came back and said, it's not Christmas here. So I don't, oh, I don't know. It's confusing. Confusing. Anyway. Okay, then. So we'll get on with it. Uh, so I want to know how, um, you know, uh yeah, I want to know how the, uh, the Queen feels about this uh, BBC, right? So, you remember, uh, go back and look on a William reading. I remember saying at the end, I don't know if it's Christmas, like, they've done something deliberate. They've done something deliberate and he knows, you know, and he would know it's them because nobody else knows. So, something must pop out, okay? Uh, I mean... I haven't watched it, okay, but I never ever watch any of uh, the, the full videos, okay. Uh, I watch uh, some opinions uh, after, uh, uh, or reactions, should I say, uh, afterwards, but yeah. I don't need to see the uh, full one, and I'd be analysing everything, you know. There's a lot of information that can pass through here, so I just uh, I take what I need to know from the universe, okay. So, you know, how is uh, the Queen feeling uh about the BBC. Oh. 
Okay, uh, I think uh, how does she feel uh, about the BBC? Okay, so I'm getting this uh, woman here uh, who, who is beautiful, you know, and time to shine. Okay, uh, so I think that's a. Uh, oh, I think it's a. Uh, oh no, don't tell us now. Don't tell us now. I want to do a reading. <sighs> okay, so yeah, Catherine's coming out in force. Okay, I think uh, Catherine is there. Uh, and also, as well, though, you know, the Queen knows that she is very much well loved, uh, that her time uh, of reign uh, has been, you know, brilliant. But I think she's going to take time now to, to focus on uh, herself, which is odd, really, because. Sorry, I'm just seeing the stables. Then I was seeing what? What was I seeing? Oh, I seen her in this bloody big drawing room. Uh, oh, it must be where she uh, greets the prime ministers uh, as such. Okay, because uh, I see her with her hands down, with her hands uh, down. So she's not holding out to anybody. She's she's just got her hands down. That's all I can say, really. You know. Um, Did she? Oh, okay. So did I? Don't know. You know, you'll have to tell me. But in a way, in any way, has uh, this sort of like uh, made Catherine look better uh, and you know more uh, beautiful and more talented and more uh, loyal and more royal and family and everything. So you know, uh, did they cover a, a patch where uh, about Catherine? Okay, uh, where she went through a, a very, very rough uh, time. So that uh, could be it. I wonder if she's thinking of uh, taking a step uh, back, uh, you know, because uh, I've said, haven't they, you know, she, uh, we could boycott them with the, the Queen's speech. Do you know what, right? I, I don't like uh, the BBC. I don't. I think, uh, you know, they used to be over time, okay, uh, and in a certain way, I used to notice that they was factual and they didn't have the opinions or the uh, drawings of the bloody ITV, you know, uh, where they speculated about everything and added bits on. Uh, the BBC didn't come across as doing that uh, during the time that I noticed, okay, so over the last 20 years, maybe. But they've got increasingly freaking worse. And in the last couple of years, they're out of fucking control. They're out of control. I still can't believe that nagger woman fucking sat there on that couch making digs at the queen. Gone, gone, gone. You don't last long, you know, doing things like that. You don't. And if they're just doing things like that once uh, and in front of people, can you imagine what they are doing behind closed doors? You know, they're all fucking hypocrites. And the way they treat my pensioners, oh, I'm telling you now, uh, you know, they'll pay for that. They'll pay for that. It's fucking bad karma. Uh, you know, they'll pay for it in such a way that we just don't watch uh, BBC. In fact, BBC probably won't uh, exist in the format that we know uh, within the next, uh, you know, five to ten years. OK, they're very, very slow to catch up on things, aren't they? Uh, what does, uh, you know, the Queen intend to do uh, about... So she found it quite flattering to her, maybe, uh, as well. It would have been maybe like a, a trip down a memory lane, okay. Oh, uh, I have to say, go on the time travel artist. Honest to God, right, it's uh, like it shows you your city. You can choose your city uh, and it shows you, uh, like, going back over the last two, uh, like a thousand, two thousand years, how remarkable, uh, you know, we went, I went on the whole one uh, and, uh, you know, some of it, the bits are left over. You just can't believe it, you know. So, uh, yeah, get yourself on there, guys. It flickers and flutters and then it comes up again as something old and then it disappears and then it comes up again as something new. <laughs> it's uh, lovely. Okay, uh, yeah, so what does the uh, Queen intend to do about uh, BBC?
there's a lot of uh, you know instability here uh, and ideas of debts debts don't just uh, be uh, money uh, they can be like you're in debt to the family for gratitude or you're in debt for, for something else you know work or whatever uh, so in debt to someone or some corporation or some person you know person whatever uh, she's out to protect it, you know, she's out to protect what's uh, hers uh, and so uh, uh, I, I do feel, you know, they are going to, uh, they want to recover something, they want to recover something, so I don't, I think they're going to sue. I think they're going to so I also think that, you know, could they be, uh, you know, getting uh, this second uh, edition uh, uh, and having a look at it this time, OK? I mean, there's been no involvement from the, the royals in this, OK? Apart from, you know, gobshite and gobshite too. Uh, but, you know, uh, there has been no participation. This is not something they constructed or agreed to. I think there's a framework here that they have to work with, uh, uh, work with of what's up. It's not allowing somebody to speak like Meghan and Harry just want us to shut up about anything. Uh, you know, what, what the Queen's saying is, and uh, the staff, is that these are allegations that haven't been proven and, you're pre you know, you're almost presenting them as a fact, you know. Fact, fact, fact. Taking Meghan and Harry as fact. Are you for real? Oh. Are you for real? This is a, a, a fucking, uh, like a, a cricket ball uh, going through one of Buckingham Palace's largest windows, you know. Uh, it's uh, done some damage. It is doing damage. They're fucking doing damage. Oh, I've never wished for anybody to uh, be removed off this planet, you know. Um, not going to start now, but, you know, sometimes, you know, that's just go away. Fucking go away. We don't fucking want you. Stay out the UK. Stay out of our noses. Stay out of our books. Stay out of our fucking palaces. You know, get away. Honestly, they are really rallying me this morning. Whenever I get the queen, I always increase with <gasps> irritation. Because, you know, bless her. Right, so she's gonna protect her, their their name. Uh, what how is she? How how is how is she going to achieve this? How does she? Uh, you know, no, no, no. How will she go about it? Okay, how will she go about it? She's out to protect people. Okay, especially Catherine. I told you they'd go for William. Slab bastards. Slab bastards. She is going to show, uh, you know, that their family are uh, uh, loving, uh, 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 at peace, you know, and that without these two bozos, uh, you know, that life is uh, okay, you know. Nobody's fucking mourning the loss of the ginger and whinger, you know. Uh, they're, they're not. They're getting on with it, you know. They've had the christening, uh, you know. Uh, they feel, uh, I think it's going to be told uh, that, uh, Harry and Meghan uh, caused a lot of drama uh, for the royals and now they're out of it. It's a good thing, you know, it is the best thing. I think some people will uh, agree on that, okay, and that's how she's going to show it. So you'll see my family uh, pictures and Kate and everybody else. They're just doing it. But do you know what? They've been doing this for a long, 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 long time, uh, you know, uh, so this isn't an act as such as the royal family. Yes, they're showing a united front, but they're only doing what they were supposed to be fucking doing in the first place, you know, going around, uh, making their, you know, uh, picking people up, making them smile, bringing a bit of, of joy uh, to the occasion, raising awareness of certain uh, diseases, causes, charities, you know, the, uh, the climate, you know. They've been doing this uh, for uh, much longer than uh, Harry and Meghan has. What's the Queen's uh, next move, please? You know, what move is she going to make?
well, there's a big event coming up then. There's a, a, a big uh, event, okay, so... <clears throat> Uh, it's Christmas. Oh, I love this. I love Christmas. I do. <gasps> I love Christmas. Okay. Oh, yeah. She's uh, So I don't know if somebody's going to be turning the lights on anytime soon uh, in London, maybe. You know, are we making more of it this year? Uh, because, well, the last couple of years have just been shite, haven't they? Yeah, shite. You know what, I just keep getting, do you remember that thought, uh, that video that Megan did? Sorry, if I go quiet, it's because they're showing me things and I have to, like, grasp it. Uh, yeah, so they're showing me uh, that time when she was really, really pissed off on the sofa with that blue stripey uh, shirt and she says something along the lines of somebody else's plagiarised uh, comment, you know, that uh, I've reckoned with myself. And such and such and such and such. Uh, criticism and flattery uh, go down the same drain. <laughs> I think uh, the queen is going to, uh, like, I just get that, so I don't know what the connection is there, but I am seeing that moment. Are we seeing Megan pissed off, you know? Uh, no, 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 she's trying to be lovely, lovely, lovely and put on a show. Uh, but I do feel like uh, queen is going to wear. Uh, Make an announcement, uh, maybe, at uh, Christmas. Oh. <coughs> Terrible thought. Terrible thought. So, what if the Queen, for some reason, I'd, I am going to ask, because I've got another spread on it, thanks to you guys asking, but, you know, say the Queen uh, put William and uh, Catherine uh, as King and Queen. Well, I'd fucking love that. I would, I would. But, well, uh, that gets still in the line of succession, uh, I would be ultra, ultra worried, okay? Ultra worried. Uh, so they would have to counter that. They'd have to counteract that because, uh, you know, then, you know, she, it, Megan Ant just got Charles, uh, then William, you know. Uh, she'd just have William, which she can hopefully want to, well, no, she would hope for. Uh, so, so like then it goes to uh, Harry so I will uh, do with that do you know what Harry you wouldn't even know what to fucking do honest to god you wouldn't know what to do with a country or politics you'd be out there on the fucking stand every morning at Buckingham Palace leave my life alone what you said is this it's disinformation you you are uh, you uh, murdered my mother you know uh, it'd be out there all the fucking time uh, I saw something on uh, Lady C and actually I had to turn it off halfway through because it was worrying me, okay, uh, because I'm, I've sensed it before and I think we've said Megan is fucking dangerous, okay, the closer she gets to the white uh, hats, white tops, white house, you know, it is dangerous for us, for them to be, not just Megan but Harry as well, telling us what to fucking think, it'll be a thought gram. Oh my God, who'd have thought, you know, I mean, I'll just go back to the fucking war. What did they die for? Yeah, because we're all having all our liberty, liberties, you know, and they're taking fucking liberties. But we're having our liberties taken away from us and it's happening slowly right in front of our eyes. And if you think you can't be, be manipulated uh, by media or your phone, you know, or, and any... Uh, any news or whatever that phone or your laptop uh you can be and you have been okay because i want you you know advertising for instance you know you see something and you think oh yeah i, I thought of that and then it'll keep coming up and so then when you've purchased it it doesn't really come back again does it now it encourages you into a certain uh way yeah, uh, the next move is uh, something coming up uh, uh, about Christmas. So, yeah, maybe they could be doing a, a spectacular uh, light. Oh, yeah, a light display. Well, they could, couldn't they? Because Buckingham Palace looked... Was it Buckingham Palace when they went up in the green? Oh, uh, how amazing. How uh, friggin' amazing. Oh, yeah, I think that would draw people uh, as well. I don't like London. I'm sorry, Londoners. I don't. It scares me. I used to live there as a kid. I saw my nana get beaten up and robbed by uh, somebody, uh, and uh, she never really 
recovered actually after that oh friggin eye socket her eye socket and she was shoved right to the, the ground and then another time when i went i must have been in the fucking wrong areas because uh another time i went <gasps> oh yeah I had my son on a, it was new, for New Year, I think, and I had my son with me. He was only little, he was about six, seven. We went to, the, we spent all day in a science museum. I think it was a science, it was, it was real good. <gasps> but anyway, uh, yeah, so, uh, and as I got off the, the bus, or come out the tube, whatever it was, uh, there was uh, like a, a massive gang kicking hell out of this person. And do you know what, if I'd have been in home, maybe, I, I would have thought nothing of saying, oi! Oi. But I couldn't. I had to get by uh, and move along. I rang. I rang the police. Uh, you know, uh, seconds later. But it, it was very hard uh, to do. But there was no way I was putting my son in that situation, or even attempting to to use him as a fucking shield. You know, uh, I think it. People don't think like that anymore. You know, we used to think you don't hit women. Uh, you you know, uh, you don't argue in front of children you know all, all those kind of uh things you know I, i've never forgot that you know i've never forgot that i've been having to you know not stand by but you can't you can't just people don't have those uh, same morals or, or codes like you know it's a woman so she can give you as much lip as she wants but you don't it's a you know uh or uh, you, a woman walks by and says stop it stop uh, hurting him or whatever stop beating him uh, you, you're killing him. Uh, they're they're not gonna be bothered that you're a fucking woman, okay? With a young kid, they're not. They they they'll just start turn on you as well. Uh, all it takes is one of them to be a loose cannon, and you you're done, you know. So, uh, no, not no. And the fucking traffic. There's traffic. Oh my god, no. Sat there once in a taxi, right? One of them black cabs. Oh my god. Uh, I I was uh. The, I think the fare should have been about 11, uh, 11 pounds. And it was flicking and flicking and flicking. Uh, it's the 15 of me. It's starting to go in my mouth. 20. I thought, fucking hell, I don't think I've got enough money in my card, uh, in my bag. In my bag. Uh, 20. I think it was 23 or 25 quid. Uh, and I'd been sat there fucking doing that. I'd have been better off on one of them bicycles. Okay, so the Christmas is uh, the, the next move, okay. Do you know, I, I think she will go ahead uh, with uh, the BBC uh, speech. I really do. So I don't see it, it coming out. Okay, she's corrected him. You know, how has uh, this BBC uh, docu uh, affected the Queen? How has this affected the Queen? Yeah, she's just fucking giving up, you know. She's give up. Uh, you can't fight this. You can't fucking do much about it, actually. Uh, you know, as much as per se. I mean, you know, sticking it to the BBC with uh, the, the royal family, uh, Queen's Speech, that, that is bad, OK? Yeah. She's just giving up. She's just giving up. She's. Uh, do you know what? I think she is giving up uh, herself. I think she's giving up in herself. Isn't that a shame that, you know, so some, five months ago, uh, five months, we're getting five months, was this when Philip died? I don't know. Uh, we're in uh, 11, aren't we? Uh, November, so October. October, September. Well, I guess. July and June. Yeah, uh, she's just giving up. I've, she's giving up. She is giving up, okay? She's giving up. She wants to be with Philip. She doesn't want to be around this shit. You know, she wants to be uh, with Philip. And she absolutely believes that when she passes over, you know, she will be with him. You know, that it's a soul connection. Absolutely is, okay? Uh, you know. Oh, dear. Public uh, opinion regarding uh, the Queen, please, uh, you know, about this. So, 
So, public uh, uh, opinion, uh, public opinion. So we've got, uh, you know, I've got a mum wanting to show off, okay, I've got uh, someone being creative with uh, their trophy, I've got motherhood, uh, someone being pregnant, so, you know, uh, I, I think, uh, we see her as, uh, you know, a, a good mother, a good mother, uh, and also, why am I getting the Queen's mother, why would I be getting the Queen's mother, you know, do they all get buried together, I don't, I don't know. I'm seeing a mother figure, you know. Uh, we see, we love the Queen, don't we? we? Oh, that's it then. So, you know, we, we see her as a good uh, parent, a, a good grandmother, you know, uh, a good mother, a good grandmother. Uh, and uh, we found a nurturing, we found a nurturing, okay? We found a nurturing. Oh, I feel like uh, there's... I think she's uh she's aware uh, of a uh, uh, mom 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 uh you know wants to show her wants to show wants to share what we've got you know we want to uh share uh what we've got are we going to be happy about uh someone being pregnant okay uh well the only time you'd be happy is if uh, it was kate oh can you imagine kate and megan both the same oh my god i don't i'm not sure i, I don't i haven't seen it uh in williams uh, thing so okay uh public opinion you know we look we love her we love her she you know uh we love the way that she simplifies things okay uh and the way she uh sim you know the sentences that set that are chosen very carefully meticulously um but yeah I don't know i think we uh we do uh love the queen we've definitely got lots of uh love uh for an affection so i i think uh also that you know we we love Catherine uh mara as well because she took a fair stick you know uh outcome uh for for uh the queen then you know outcome for the queen regarding the bbc Oh, you can't believe she's got a, you know, she's suing their ass. She's suing them. She's suing them. She's suing them. <laughs> and now she'll have to, re they'll have to reveal sources, won't they? Won't they? Won't they? Won't they? She showing the, the mother off, okay? Showing showing off. Megan showing off. <laughs> you didn't think they wouldn't fucking sue you? Oh, yes, I do. Uh, you know, uh, this is, uh, they're going to uh, want an apology here uh, and uh, a redaction. A redaction? Is that a redaction? It's like, I don't know why I said that. Anyway, yeah, like a, what, a redaction. Could they say, like, uh, certain things are, are correct? Uh, all right, I think uh, the Queen will take on the BBC and win, OK? Absolutely, uh, she will uh, win. Uh, I've got no doubt uh, about it. I feel like, she, you know, uh, not giving the, the speech, you know, she wants to just fucking give up and um, walk away. So many times this year, as uh, BBC staff... Uh, like uh, uh being quite actually uh snarty uh, about our royal family and especially the queen you know i can act i can act somebody saying something about charles uh but i can't act it uh with uh the the queen you know and and they already have so maybe you know she would consider uh walking away because you've seen that speech aren't you i don't know you know i think it would be a big move maybe she uh still gives them what they the Christmas speech, but, but, 
And they wouldn't retaliate just like this, you know. They wouldn't. They wouldn't spit the dummy out. No, because they can orchestrate things so that maybe next year, you know, uh, TV is uh, sort of like different in a way. Uh, and so uh, they'll be more exploring uh, their social media because more people uh, are doing it. So if you was giving that reason and a bit of notice next year, maybe, uh, then that is acceptable. It's not acceptable uh, for the Queen, unfortunately. We do uh, agree with her, though, you know, that she should. But it's not acceptable, okay? So she's uh, she's not quite uh, walking away from him, at least on this uh, next speech. It would just look like it was uh, reactive uh, and damaging uh, and, you know, that they're succumbing uh, to uh, the likes of Harry and Meghan with the Dirty Tricks campaigns, you know? So, I don't know. I never saw it. So, maybe you can let me know, uh, you know, how things came across uh, in that interview with for Catherine, okay? Uh, is the Queen, you know, is this uh, the Queen looking after Catherine? She certainly does, you know. They're so, so close. I feel like there's tightness uh, uh, around. I really, really uh, do. It's like... Well, I'm sure when she passes William, uh, you know, we'll, we'll say uh, what's what and how much of an influence uh, and strong. You know, she's replaced his mum in, in, in a way. And that's another fucking thing with uh, Harry and Meghan. How come, you know, he's it, that Queen's been like a mother to him when they want one? And that's even worse, isn't it? It's not like, you know, uh, you, you had an alright family and a shady uh, kid. No, the Queen stepped in for them too, you know, uh, and was uh, at times the only uh, female. Uh, so, like, what is it? Female. Uh, I'll remember in a Fem Like, encounter, you know, uh, where. Impression? No. Fuck, fuck off <gasps> uh impression no 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 influence that's it influence yeah the queen was uh you know a, a rock solid influence uh on william and harry uh being charles really honestly you just you know you, they're both so opposite they're so uh you know harry is serving himself uh william is serving the uh country and how is it you know how can you say that uh william was work shy when he was driving a fucking ambulance all over saving people's lives you know or was it a helicopter rescue thing whatever it was uh you know people are just uh all uh, uh this is coming 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 it's showing no signs of slowing down for me i'm just seeing more people they won't be fucking happy until they've ripped uh out uh buckingham palace turned it into a fucking asylum seekers refuge and uh you know uh up up the lot of us you know but i'm telling you now our fucking queen goes so does a government and would they allow that to happen uh you can't have a government without the queen she appointed him you know yes i'm sure uh that is a uh, balance so just getting a bit of stick they got it in there uh, with diana uh and now they're getting it now okay so uh but you know ships will come to pass and uh you know it will be over uh, eventually just not yet okay guys okay all right so that is uh, the queen and how she's feeling about the bbc so it looks uh, like she's definitely taking a legal action i don't think she wants to be part of them uh you know i think she'll be locking at ways uh, that maybe not this christmas but the christmas after uh there there will be no uh royal speech on bbc but you know you know queen give us it give us it on uh, youtube uh, i'll definitely watch it okay definitely definitely oh hey and i'll tell you now as well you could make some money couldn't you you could make some money with all them views oh my god you could uh, a lot more than you could make off the bbc okay okay all right then guys uh, i'll be uh, back soon with another reading okay bye now bye bye Thank you.